Hello there guys, welcome back to the e-bike repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dash and I take apart and fix uh, e-bike batteries, uh, scooter batteries, motors, controllers, all that fun stuff. So what I've got in today is one of these. It's a, this sticker's better for me, Turn Life 48 volt 20 amp hour 960 watt hour battery pack. Uh, it says A40 all over it. I'm guessing that's something to do with it. It's from a Himiway bike, which is spelt like that. Uh, what it's doing, or not doing, is charging. So, if you click the button... Where's it gone? That's this button on the end here. He says, hopefully. Oh, there you go. Look, it does something. It's some form of life. Um, if you plug the charger in, which is over here, Charger does not go red. If we get our meter, okay. and we probe its terminals, we get forty four volts. That's not enough volts. It feels as though it might not be a BMS issue because it's turning on. And I noticed that this top plate is loose. Don't know why. But it is. I don't think it being I think it's just an aesthetic cover that clips into the aluminium channel there. I don't think it matters. But um, what I want to do is pop off these four screws along the bottom, so one, two, three, and four, there. Oh, and there are the discharge ports. And there's the charge port. Um, and just check if there's a fuse or anything like that in there. So they're just um, posi head screws, so Phillips head, or whatever. Yeah, they just look like normal sort of M4 screws. Good. And we've got okay. What have we got? This is our charge and <coughs> discharge. I see something fuse holdery in here that's just been hot glued the ever living what's it's out of it. Uh, it's a definitely not metal screwdriver. I mean, at least it wasn't going to rattle undone. This might damage the fuse holder. That amount of prying on it, but I mean, I don't know another way to get it off, so what can we do? I mean, I could just test continuity between the red wire here and the central bin here, but where's the fun in that? A blown fuse. That fuse is blown. Why is it blown? I don't see. Sometimes I've seen people have stuck the key in the in the charge port, and so what they'll do, they'll get a uh, there's one, something like this, a uh, uh, key, and they'll stick it in the charge port like that, which of course shorts it out. But normally you see charring. Obviously, you never do that. Um, but yeah, normally you see charring or something around the charge port. I don't see any in this case, so who knows? Uh, the charger is 54.6 volts, 3 amps, and the fuse is rated for, supposedly rated for, 10 amps. 
So, I could say, get a suitable 10 amp fuse from there. Let's replace it. Okay, replace its top cover. Just like that. We shall poke that deck down there. I was a little bit interested in opening up this pack further, but there's a lot of silicon and no, I don't want to, so. Plug that in there. Plug that in there. Does it charge? Does it charge? Does it charge? Does it charge? Stay. It charges! Well, there you go. Um, obviously only time will tell whether it happens again. Is the fuse blowing a common thing? Was it just a bad fuse from the factory? Did it in fact get shorted out the charge port? Has the customer got a second charger that's bad that might have shorted it out? Who knows? Um, but for now, that was the problem. Problem is fixed. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please feel free to leave a like rating, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, or I've got like a members thingy where um, you can see some exclusive videos. Thanks very much. Bye bye.